because of the wrecking you will be shut up <laughs> yeah right so we escaped Belgium to come to Copenhagen which is basically the same exact thing as Belgium with respect to climate it's fucking raining everywhere and I don't know why we end up in these kind of places new country new people it's crazy yesterday it was actually nice for biking sunny now I have like seven layers somewhere. yep Western Europe if you're planning Europe. to relocate We're in the busy station of Denmark. Now I see why no one's on the road. Fucking McDonald's. They have some work going on and they hung up artwork over here. It's really cool. Making use of the space. Copenhagen Photo Festival. Buses especially for tourists. Hop on! Hop off! I wonder what the square is. We were just uh, walking and wandered into the square. Looks like a big fancy shopping street. It's like I'm in uh, Mayer or some other shopping street in America. Why is this a tourist attraction? I don't get that. Apparently it's like in Germany they also eat a lot of hot dogs. This is the infamous Tivoli Garden and I think it's, uh, well it's not closed, it's just super empty because it's raining maybe so no one wants to go. I don't know if we want to go because it's raining and it's supposed to be an outdoor thing. I don't know, do I go in or do I not go in? Check this out. Apparently Danish people don't have uh, separate toilets for men and women. It's all unisexual everywhere that I've seen so far in the entire Copenhagen. And here we are at the National Museum of Denmark. Another sign of zero crime rate. People just leave their umbrellas expecting that to be right here when they come back. Okay. Let's go to Danish prehistory, start from ground floor. Room number nine. Oh, over there.